Hello and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be covering two features that were added in the newest update of ShopUp Pro. Aggregate reporting and the ability to rerun media analysis. These two features are also included in the 2023 version of MyLTO and work exactly the same way. Both of these features are extremely powerful and can help you save both time and effort. Not only that, but they are super user friendly. First, to find this feature, you'll want to head to the top menu bar and locate the History tab. From this tab, select View Job History. If you're unfamiliar with this page, I'll briefly go over each of the sections. To the left here, you have a list of all of the jobs that you have performed in Shopa Pro. At the bottom, you can see you have the option to keep jobs up to a certain amount or for a certain amount of time, ranging from seven days to forever. From this list, select any single job and you'll see to the right, you can now see some details about the job, such as the version of ShopPut used, the size, dates it was started and finished, and the number of files and folders. Now, select a file from the list below this, and you'll be able to view further details on this individual file, such as checksums, thumbnail images, and metadata. You also have the option to generate a report for this specific job using the button here at the top marked Generate Reports. After selecting Generate Reports, a pop-up will appear with a couple of different options. First of these is to give your report a name. If you choose not to change this, it will default to the name of the job that you are creating a report for. Next, you can select the different types of reports that you want to be included when generating reports. If you did not select one of these reports when first running your job, you can now select it here. This is also where you will rerun media analysis. For example, if you forgot to include thumbnail images in your PDF report when you initially ran your job, or perhaps you did choose to include them and some returned corrupted, you can select PDF report from this list and then choose include thumbnails. After checking this box, an additional pop-up will appear asking you to define when you want to reanalyze the media. Selecting always will always collect new metadata and thumbnail images. This is the option you would choose if you had previously selected to include thumbnails, but some of them were corrupted or appeared incorrectly. When missing thumbnails, we'll only rerun the media analysis if there are no thumbnails found in the initial job. This is the option you would select if you did not include thumbnails in your initial job or even if you did not originally generate any PDF report at all. The last option is to never rerun media analysis. Using this option will create a PDF report, but will only use known metadata information and thumbnails that were gathered the first time. The other option in this view is to select whether or not you would like to use a custom logo in the header in place of the ShopUp Pro logo. If this option is selected, it will use the custom logo you have chosen in the reports portion of the general settings. Finally, aside from including CSV or TXT reports, is the reports note section. Here you can choose to include additional information in the report header such as production info, DIT details, the project name, or anything else you would like to include to stay organized. The second new feature that can be found in the job history page is the aggregate reporting feature. This feature is extremely easy to use. Simply select a date from the list of completed jobs on the left side of your screen. You can also select a custom range using shift click or a custom set by using command click. The command click selection can also be used to make a custom selection of days. Upon selecting a day or range of jobs, the aggregate information appears in the upper panel to the right of your list of completed jobs. Some of the information given includes the range of time in which the jobs were run, the total size of all files, and the total number of files, folders, and jobs. Just like when a single job is selected, you can select any of these jobs to bring up its contents below. This view works the same as before, allowing you to select a specific file and view its metadata and thumbnails. 
You now notice the button above says Generate Aggregate Report. Selecting this will have the same pop-up appear. Its default title is now Summary Report and then the range during which the jobs were run. I'll go ahead and run an aggregate report on these jobs. Once I click OK, I can choose the destinations I want to send the report to. After that's done, click the report icon above to view the progress of your report generation. Selecting the eye icon next to your completed report will then open its location in a new window. From there, you'll be able to open it and view your report. As you can see, this feature is extremely useful and is easy to navigate for experienced users and beginners alike. Hopefully this video has given you a good overview over these new features and please feel free to reach out to our support team with any questions. Thanks for watching and as always, imagine together.